and faith. We sometimes receive requests from our users on how to find data that is needed to determine qualification for certain programs, grants, tax credits, and more. It can be a little overwhelming trying to figure out which tables in data.census.gov will give you that data that you need, then use that information to complete calculations that may be necessary to truly determine qualification. To help relieve your stress in this tutorial, using an example of one such program, I'll show you how to locate tables in data.census.gov, and then we'll go over some of the calculations that must be done to determine qualification for this example program. Sometimes the qualifications for programs can be a little tricky, so our example reflects some of the issues that may come up. Let's take a look at the qualifications for our example program. In this instance, the agency in charge of this example program has specified that there are three different ways to be eligible. The first is the most straightforward. If the poverty rate for the tract is 20% or higher, then eligibility would be a yes. The second and third ways are a little bit more complicated. If the tract is located in a metropolitan area, in order to be eligible, the median family income for the tract must be 80% or less of the median family income for the state or metropolitan area, whichever is greater. If the tract is not located in a metropolitan area, in order to be eligible, the median family income for the tract must be 80% or less of the median family income for the state. This may already sound intimidating, so let's go over these one by one. We'll start with determining whether the poverty rate for a given tract is 20% or higher. The tract of interest is tract 405 in Newport County, Rhode Island. To find out what the tract number was that I needed, I used the instructions provided in our Census Geocoder tutorial found at the link below. Now that I know the tract number, I can go into data.census.gov to find the poverty rate of this tract. To start, go to data.census.gov and click on the Advanced Search button. Let's select the track first. From the left, under Geography, click on Census Tract, Rhode Island, Newport County, and check the box next to the Census Tract 405, Newport County, Rhode Island. I want to take a look at Poverty Tables so I can find the poverty rate. Under the Topics heading, click on Income and Poverty, Poverty, and check the box next to Poverty. Once these selections are made, click on the search button in the far lower right corner of the screen. For this search, we will see a figure at the top of the page. It looks like it's telling us that the poverty rate for this tract is 22.1%. If we want to confirm that this in fact is the poverty rate for the tract, we can click on the View This Result button. This happens to take us to the first table in the list, S1701, poverty status in the past 12 months. The table defaults to the 2022 ACS five-year estimates. The first line labeled as population for whom poverty status is determined is the line that we want to pay attention to. If I scroll over, I'll see a column labeled as percent below poverty level. This gives me the poverty rate for the tract. It's the same 22.1% that we saw earlier. Given that the poverty rate in this tract is over 20%, this means that the tract is eligible for the program. Now let's take a look at our next example. For this one, the tract is eligible if it's located within a metro area and its median family income is 80% or less of the median family income for the state or metro area, whichever is greater. Let's break this down into smaller chunks to make it a little easier to sort through. For example, we're going to look at Census Tract 411, also in Newport County, Rhode Island. I use the Census Geocoder and the Missouri State Data Center's GeoCore tool to figure out that this tract is a part of Providence, Warwick, Rhode Island, Massachusetts metro area. For guidance on how to use these tools, please see the Census Geocoder tutorial that I referenced earlier, as well as a tutorial for the GeoCore tool 
found at the links below. The next step is to find the median family income for the tract for all of Rhode Island and for the Providence Warwick metro area. To do this, I'm going to go back to data.census.gov and start a clean search by clicking on the Census Bureau logo in the upper left corner. I still want to use the advanced search for this. I want to do one thing a little different this go round, and that's to select the 2022 as the year. Under years, check the box next to 2022. Then let's select all the geographies next. First, click on the census tract for Rhode Island, Newport County, and click the box next to census tract 411. Then on the left, click on state and check the box next to Rhode Island. Last, click on Metropolitan, Micropolitan, Statistical Area, click in the search box at the top of the list, type in Providence, and check the box next to Providence, Warwick, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Metro Area. Since we are looking at the median family income, we need to add the income filter to this search. Under Topics, click on Income and Poverty, Income and Earnings, and check the box next to Income, Household, Families, Individuals. Once these selections are made, click on the search button. This time, we just get back a list of tables. Let's take a look at the first one in the list, S1901, Income in the Past 12 Months. The table defaults to showing data for the 2022 ACS one-year estimates. If you look at the table, you'll notice that the tract is missing. To make sure that you get the data for all three geographies, click above the table where it says 2022 ACS one-year estimates and switch to 2022 ACS five-year estimates. Now that we have all three geographies, let's find the median family income for each geography. If we look down towards the bottom of the table, we'll see a line for the median income in dollars. We're interested in family income, so we'll have to scroll over a little to the families column. We can see that the median family income for Rhode Island is 104,033. The median family income for census tract 411 is 65,357. And the median family income for the metro area is 103,773. Let's make note of these three numbers. Now let's use these numbers to determine the eligibility. For this, we have the option of using the median family income for either the state or the metro area, depending on which is greater. Between the two, Rhode Island has the greater median family income, so we'll use that. Now we need to figure out what 80% of that income amount is. We can determine this by multiplying the income amount, 104,033, by 0.80. This gives us 83,226. Now, we just need to see if the median family income for the tract is equal to or less than 83,226. We learned earlier that the median family income for this tract is 65,357 which is definitely less than 83,226. This means that this tract would be eligible. For our last example, we're going to look at a tract that is not located within a metropolitan area. When this is the case, the eligibility requirement is that the median family income for the tract must be 80% or less than the median family income for the state. For this example, we're going to look north in Maine at census tract 9659 in Somerset County. As I did before, I used the census geocoder and the geocore tool to figure out that this tract isn't part of any metro area. Now we need to find the median family income for the tract and for all of Maine. To do this, I'm going back to data.census.gov start a clean search, and click on the Advanced Search button. Like before, I'm going to select 2022 as the year. 
Then let's select the two geographies we need. First, click on Census Tract, Maine, Somerset County, and check the box next to Census Tract 9659. Then on the left, click on the state and then check the box next to Maine. We are still looking at the median family income, so we'll need to add the income filter. Under Topics, click on Income and Poverty, Income and Earnings, and check the box next to Income, Households, Families, and Individuals. Once these selections are made, click on the search button. We'll use the same table as before, S1901, income in the past 12 months. The table defaults to showing data for the 2022 ACS one-year estimates, which means that the tract will be missing from the table. Remember that we just have to click where it says 2022 ACS one-year estimates and switch to 2022 ACS five-year estimates in order to get both geographies to show. Now let's find the median family income for geography. If we look down towards the bottom of the table for the median income, we scroll over to the families column. We can see that the median family income for Maine is $89,012. And the median family income for the census tract 9659 is $68,750. Let's make note of these numbers. Now let's use these numbers to determine the eligibility. For this, the first thing we need to do is figure out what 80% of the state median income is. We can determine this by multiplying the state income amount, 89,012, by 0.80. This gives us 71,209. Now, we just need to see if the median family income for the tract is equal to or less than 71,209. We learned earlier that the median family income for this tract is 68,750, which is less than 71,209. This means that this tract would be eligible. I hope this tutorial has helped you feel more comfortable with locating data that you need and making the calculations to determine eligibility. For more guidance on using data.census.gov, please visit our resources page at the link provided below. Thank you.